Well, get ready. The lights are coming on this weekend at Daytona International Speedway. Yeah, the green flag will drop tomorrow night at the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Sky 6 was over the race this afternoon, or the racetrack this afternoon. We actually saw a few cars taking a few laps. Sports director Jamie Say is there tonight. And Jamie, for a lot of fans, this race is going to be bittersweet. This will be the last time that we'll get to see a race around the 4th of July weekend, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Ginger. And there are so many special things about this race being run around 4th of July weekend. First, the history here at Daytona and Independence Day weekend. There have been so many memorable moments that have happened in this very weight race. Uh, this is going to be the 61st edition. It is going to be the last for the time being because NASCAR is moving this race to the end of August, to the end of NASCAR's regular season. A lot of fans come here and plan their summer vacations around it. They're going to have to bump it up. And for dry it's special as well because they admit they hit the beach here at Daytona for the 4th of July. That's going to end. We got drivers' reactions over the last couple of days, and we got mixed reactions. Here they are. The good news is it's not a race that's going away from the speedway. Obviously, this, this racetrack itself uh, definitely is deserving of, of two dates, and uh, we'll have it for for a very long time. Uh, as far as, you know, moving the scheduling around, I, yeah, I don't mind that uh, at all. It's, it's kind of disappointing for me, I guess. You know, growing up, you always had the, the big 4th of July race at Daytona, and, and that's where everybody was. And on the, on Saturday night, that's what you did watch the, the race at Daytona, no matter when the 4th was. And uh, so it's a little, a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, I think there's a lot of mixed emotions from fans, from drivers. You just heard from Eric Jones. He's the defending champion of this race. You're seeing cars on the track from yesterday at practice. Well, they didn't get a lot of practice in uh, today because qualifying was actually canceled because of the weather. It was washed out. Tonight coming up at Daytona, it's the Xfinity Series race, the Circle K Firecracker 250. We are going to have those highlights at 11. Plus, we're going to have much more from Daytona. Fan reaction to the move of this race, plus driver strategy. It's all coming up at New 6 at 6. Live at Daytona International Speedway, I'm Jamie Say getting results. Matt and Ginger, back to you.